Bring George's Give me the mic, mic up. up. No. Go ahead. You're up. Huh? Yeah. No? I'm not there. There I am. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our dinner series at Pizza Republica. We want to welcome everybody in. Get out of the house. Have a little time. Been locked up for months. Now it's time to get out, enjoy some great food, fun, friends, and family. Oh. How we're going to get this going tonight? It's going to be super easy. We've got the best chef lineup that I've seen in the longest time. Bunch of rock stars behind me. I'm standing right here, Greg. Jesus. And, uh, you're in that group. You're in that group. Come on. We're going to be live streaming tonight's dinner on the Modern Eater Facebook page, YouTube, Periscope, and Twitter. Yeah. Lots of pics. Post them. Share them with your friends. They're going to be so jealous. We want to take this time and have so much fun tonight. Enjoy this great food, great friends, and you're going to become part of our family. We hope to become part of yours. So enjoy. I want to introduce Greg Hollenbeck, and he's going to talk you through the rest of the dinner. Let's get this going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. George Eater, and thank you to the Republica. This is week three of the summer dinner series. You guys, let's hear it for yourself for coming out. Uh, this is going to be a great dinner. We've got a full staff. Bring the music down a little bit in the house, Jay. All right. He's the man of the hour. He's joining us here tonight. We've been looking forward to this dinner. It's probably going to be one of the best of the series. We've got to introduce him now. Chef... Jesus Silva in the house Yay! tonight. <laughs> wow. Thank you. So, <clears throat> first and anything, I want to say thank you, you guys, for coming and joining us for this beautiful dinner tonight. But I want to say thank you to this crazy chef I have with me. I think uh, I feel very lucky to have such a badass working with me right now. One is uh, Claudio Hernandez, Rich Hammonds. Mr. Wenzel with Element Night Company, Adam Biro, Adam. and Jeff Hickman. Yeah, great. So thank you again, and I hope you guys enjoyed the dinner. And um, yeah, let's do it. That's how we do it here, summer you, dinner sister. series style. You talk to the chefs. We have, one more time, the birthday boy. We're continuing the party. It was uh, Chef's birthday this last Sunday. Jesus um, Palooza! <laughs> yes, we're going to continue <laughs> with that. And the chefs, let's get Chef more. <laughs> Woo! So, Summer Dinner Series. How many of you have been to a Summer Dinner Series before? Oh, yeah. I like to see the returning people. For those that haven't been to the Summer Dinner Series, here's what's so cool about this year. We didn't know whether we were going to be able to pull this off. It's very weird in the restaurant industry right now. But look around. They said you were not going to be able to pull off an experience. Fine dining can't exist in this climate. I don't know. Do you guys think that maybe we're proving them wrong? Do you think we're blessed here? I mean, did you see the weather this afternoon? Biker Jim Pinger yeah. last week, oh. Chef. <laughs> oh, hi. Good hi. to see you, Chef. Oh, did you see the weather earlier today? Yeah. You know, I mean, who expected it to be like this tonight? Talk about a perfect dinner. And it seems like every, every evening that you've had this series. The weather has been just like this. So thank you for, for supporting. Night. Thank you for coming. Who is the cause this evening anyway? Chef Jesusia, what's your chef cause, your favorite charity? I, I don't remember. You don't remember? No. Do you have one? <laughs> we'll figure it out. The we'll Alzheimer's out Fund. We'll be working on the Jesusio <laughs> Alzheimer's Fund here soon. I don't know. We're going to get wrong tonight. We always <laughs> like to support a local charity. Last week, was uh, Extended Hands of Hope. So this week we'll uh, figure out the chef's favorite chef choice charity. I do have a quick question for you. Who knows what Periscope is? Right? Oh, except for you. Okay. All right. All right. Who over 30 knows what Periscope is? All right. Except for, all right. Never mind. I've Who never thinks heard of Biker that. Jim can log into his email? 
<laughs> I've got people for that. It's pretty handy. I've got people for that. You guys are. In, this is what you're in for. Summer dinner series. It's kind of. It's it's the aftermath of what we do for road trip. We go on a road trip. Brian Freeman's not here tonight. Biker Jim is Brian Freeman. George we just got back Byer, from a road trip. Brian Freeman. Uh, so road trip, what we do is we go around and we source all kinds of delicious food in Colorado and we come back and we bring these ingredients to you guys. And tonight in the house you're going to have Harper Feeders, so the lamb purveyor, he's here, Mike Harper and his wife Marianne. We've got uh, Kermit Krantz, he's on his way, he's from Frontier Trout Ranch, he supplied the trout for you tonight. That's just down in Sawatch, Colorado. We've got a lot of great purveyors. You're going to hear their stories tonight. We're going to bring out this first course. What's for first course tonight? So we have a hand roll made of the trout skin. It's an amazing hand roll with uh, amazing rice. and <laughs> It's a, a hand roll with uh, salmon eggs, uh, kaiware, uh, yamagobo, and some ponzu. So Pretty sure you're just first making course. some of those words up right now. Pretty aren't you? much, yeah. yeah. They're all in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? It's going to be a good time. All right, I want to do this. Okay, Savage okay. Spectrum had our opening to toast class time. today. Hopefully, everybody had that. Is he here? Where's Patrick? Patrick, where are you? Patrick, did he, did he leave? Patrick had to go back to say, We'll hear from Patrick. We'll get the dishes out for you right now, but we really appreciate you joining us this evening. Sit back, relax, have a good time. Your friends are going to be jealous. They're going to watch you streamed on Periscope, Jim, or your Facebook or YouTube. So enjoy the dinner tonight, and we'll be back for some more conversation with you here after the first course. Thanks for coming in. Mm. No, está con my... We have the youngest sushi fan ever, Hizusio. He's enjoying his hand roll. Folks, how's the first bites? Delicious and beautiful. Ooh, delicious and beautiful here. Jeff. Chuck, Hizusio wants to know, how is the first course? Oh, 
phones any fucking way. I mean, what's the point unless you're going to have five people walking around all together? I just need to go on stage because I'm ready to do the show. So, is it ready? Walking out, and I'm going to get a ready. Dave, we're switching to those. I'm not, I'm not going to dance around and fucking play. We're going to switch to the Go grab one of those sticks. Um, just keep it on in the house and tell me if you can hear it in your head. Okay. Am I going to hear that if I don't have the house up? Am I going to hear him on those sticks if I don't have the house up? Hello, 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 hello. Everybody. It in the house. You got me? Yeah. You got George? Yeah. You got me? Yeah. Can we go over the stream now? Can you bring Jesus, me, and George onto the stream? You're on the stream. We're on the stream? Okay. We're on the stream. We're streaming. <laughs> We're going, man. <laughs> oh, How you wow. Doing? <laughs> okay. First course out like a flash, Chef. Yeah. First course go really fast. Second course. We have some nice sashimi trout. Um, sashimi grid trout from Colorado. That's pretty impressive. You remember uh, we were talking about that yeah. last time? This is Frontier Trout Ranch in yeah. Sawatch, Colorado. We did, went. Did you hand cut the, hand cut these trout, Greg? 
You know what? <laughs> we we went down there, and I, I don't know. Did you see any of the film of us? I saw, I saw the film. It we, was an we amazing were, spot. We were bunching fish up. <laughs> we're getting, what, three pounders right. out, out of there. Brought them back here. That's all controlled water. Usually can't eat Colorado trout if you're there. You know, you never know what, what somebody's doing upstream. Yep. This is all controlled. Great sushi grade fish right here. How's it taste? I haven't had it. It tastes amazing. Great texture, good oil. And then uh, Nine, four, with four, this four. Uh, tofu green tea sauce, it's going to be amazing. How, that looks fantastic. That really does. You brought just the heavyweights for chefs. I mean, for seriously, look at these guys, man. I, this is I'm one rock star impressed. lineup. Yeah, I'm telling it you is, that. Is amazing. Is this turning out the way you wanted this course to turn out? Yeah, actually, um, my head works a little bit weird, but right now I'm trying to figure out how we're going to plate everything. <laughs> Really? What's going on? Mad through? genius right there. Yeah. <laughs> I I have a couple ideas how we're gonna play this and that's what happened. <laughs> Plenty of food, right? That's yep. Looking. We have a, a lot of good food this. and we have yeah. I mean on the other side we have it's Mr. Perfect. Elon Wenzel making some nigiri yeah. for next course after this. Uh, what is the third course? It's a Toro Yellowtail. Um, and the snapper, we changed it for tuna just because the snapper wasn't that great this morning, so we decided to bring tuna instead. Fantastic. And scallops? You got and some? we have seared scallops no, and sweet. Come on, everything. that's a main course. Man. Right. <laughs> the number two. Right, is, right. That's a full plate right there. All of them, man. I, we have we have a good good dinner ahead, yeah, so of course I'm four. excited. Chef, where are you sourcing your fish from right now? Uh, right now I'm using uh, Asahi Foods. It's a company in uh, uh, Commerce City. And it comes from everywhere, man. Like, um, you can say Japan, uh, uh, Europe, Mexico. I mean, it's, uh, fresh yeah, whatever, whatever is fresh is and whatever is uh, good, yeah. You go through all those great places for fit, and then Colorado. And now Colorado. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, you think well, you'll look some more of that up? Well, that's the idea, man. And that, this is what is important, I think, right now, is to discover, and I will tell the other chefs, is discover this product we have in Colorado. I'm, I gotta be honest, man, be, working in a sushi restaurant, sometimes you become such a snob about fish. For sure. That you stop looking around, and you will be surprised when you see something like this. Even the uh, sea bass from Colorado. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, striped bass. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's amazing. Up I mean, in Alamosa Farm. Yes, it's, great striped bass. it's it's fantastic. So I think, I think the Colorado game is getting pretty out there, and uh, we get them pretty badass in all the. So stuff. yeah, you have two Colorado proteins. You got the lamb. How's the lamb? I mean, look at that. Uh, this huh? lamb. That's I mean, be good. we're about to serve this beautiful lamb, which we coated with some koji. It's a uh, soy ferment, so soy fermentation with um, some um, uh, soy, salt, pepper, of course, mm. and I think that's gonna be and, and then I one of my favorite. Seen that before. That's the off camera. But Bincho that's Tan Grill is uh, actually one of the guys that's eating right now. Is uh, he owns that thing and he's like, hey, use it, use it for the dinner tonight. I'm like, okay, I use Did it. Come in handy. Is <laughs> is a beautiful I thing. I mean, man. we, we could have brought the huge Yoder smoker yeah, out. Right, sure. right. Next Seems day. like that amplifies the heat. Yep. Well, the way it's angled, that gets so hot. It gets super hot, so it dry, uh, seared the the uh, lamb really fast. You couldn't ask for a better night outdoors here. Um, last time, okay, here's the deal. Last time, and, and I think you're doing some private parties, right? I mean, right. you, you yep. do, like, you won't step out the door unless it's 20 or more, right? 25? Probably, Nine, yeah. Right. I, all depends. I mean, I do a lot of parties for friends, for small parties. Uh, and I just, the thing is, we are really busy in the market right now, yeah. and we need to, we really need to make it uh, big so I can step out of the market and, you know. Yeah, make it worth yeah. everybody's right. while. Point I was making is it's pretty cool to connect with the guests right now in a time that there's zero connection really with the guests. Yeah, weird times, but we will come back and uh, we're getting better and better every day, I guess. Uh, um, I mean, how needed is this really for morale all the way around for the industry? Everybody's missing the interaction of people, dining experiences from the guests on our side. I don't know about you, Chef, but 
it's not fun when you don't have a lot of people in front of you cooking. Well, exactly. And not just that. This is amazing. I mean, do you, uh, hang out with friends again yeah. in the kitchen and start cooking with friends again. Uh -huh. Yeah, that camaraderie. It makes a big difference, man. Like, I've been, I mean, I've been in the market all this time when everything was closed. I was in the market cleaning by myself, doing stuff by myself. And you miss all this, you know, all this beautiful people and beautiful friends you know that's that's very important too we're going to be getting out this second course here. pretty soon yeah it's coming out pretty soon and uh, boy it, just everybody here at pizza republic on this side of it george's side of it right the the servers and the bartenders and and, and people just su the supporting staff it's great i, I mean this is a good setup right, right here at pizza republic. well we have to say thank you to george too and it's a crazy uh, i mean george like I want to say like 16, 17 years ago. It was a long, yeah, a long time ago. 2003, probably. Yeah, yeah you, were, wow. you were 40 at the time? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks, thanks for dating oh, me wait, there, Greg. I get it, I know I'm getting old now. <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> funny. I thought I was just kidding, actually. And I was like, well, it, actually, that's actually what, true. That's actually about right. I think I was 37 when we first met. No, you're doing yeah. a good I'm job. 53 now. You're doing so. a good job. Yeah. Uh, George, I mean, I'm telling you, Pete's Republic all the way around. And uh, downtown to have some life down here. I mean, it looks. It you look out over here. It looks normal, yeah, right? This this is a lot of fun, and I, it's such an honor to have you have you in my restaurant. Thank you. And coming out here, I've known you for years. <laughs> I respect you. Thank you much. Like you're at the top of the game. Thank you, man. I, so same. I have the same feeling for you. <laughs> definitely a lot of love there. This is good stuff. This is summer yeah. dinner series, and this is why we do it. And connect. I, I mean, listen. I'm not saying you've learned anything from us at all. But hopefully, just that feel of local in Colorado, you oh, get from Of course, us. it's like I told you, man. Being in a sushi bar, and it, it, I mean, you become a snob with just one thing, and it's fish, and you want the best, and you want to bring it from somewhere else. But we need to start looking in our backyard, and we have all everything here. I mean, pretty soon. We're yeah. going to start. And this this yeah. plate, Chef, this is gorgeous. Thank you. Well, this is just the Can't beginning. Can't wait to taste this. All right, Chef, Thank we're going to bring the mics up in the house here. All we're right. going to talk through this dish with the folks Sounds and good. Uh, keep it going. I think Jay's got us back there. Okay, bring us on up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. There we are. Are we up, Jay? All right, what do you think? Course one, how'd it go? Yes. I don't know. You guys peek in every so often. We're, <laughs> we're talking to the chef on the stream, and uh, now we're back up over the house. Course one went out flawlessly. Course two, ready to just launch. What do we got? Well, course two, we have some trout with a green tea tofu uh, emulsion. Yama momo, which is this little red thing you guys are going to see in the plate. They have a peat inside, so bite really hard. No, I'm just kidding. Just <laughs> be, care be careful, please don't uh, chug with one of these guys. And uh, some balsamic reduction and uh, arugula. I hope you guys enjoy second course. Second sure, course. Thank you, amazing. Chef. Thank you. Thank you. All right, second course is coming out. We're going to start talking to some of the purveyors. All right, who's the wine drinkers out there? Carboy Winery here with us tonight. Who's the spirits drinkers out there tonight? All right, Idle Wild Spirits here. Who's the beer drinkers out there tonight? We got beer drinkers, Jag and Mountain out there. Uh, Savash Spectrum, I think he hit the road. And then we have a new addition tonight with sake. Woo! And uh, who's the sake drinkers? Colorado Sake Company. So we're going to talk to those guys. We're going to talk to the uh, rancher who's here with us tonight. And hopefully you're enjoying this dinner as the Modern Eaters Summer Dinner Series continues. series 
Uh, you know, I only went to the Modern Eater one time when Justin Brunson was doing the benefit dinner there, and uh, what a great time that was. Luckily, we can pull this off. We Kitchen's a little small for these types of gathering, but <laughs> outdoor alfresco dining, man, this is good stuff to connect with the diners again, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And like uh, Biker Jim was saying earlier, we really lucked out with the weather today. We were loading up earlier, and it was raining, and I was like, oh, God, the one day I comb my hair, you know how that goes. Yeah. So what are you doing? How can people look you up? You got an Instagram you want to throw out there? Oh, of course. Uh, uh, my business is called Five Star To You. So 5 startoucom is the website. Uh, Instagram and Facebook are both at 5 star to you. Private chef uh, service, doing everything from intimate dinners for two to weddings for over 100. I can vouch for it. A party. I know you just did Brian Freeman's house the other night. Yeah, yeah. I was bummed he wasn't here tonight. He was saying he was going to be here. Man, his family's amazing. We had such a good time. Got to cook some amazing food for them for sure. You can be Brian Freeman too. 5 star to you. How do people get a hold yeah. of you? Uh, Cell phone, email, uh, five star to you at gmail.com, 480 773 0321. Rock and roll. Thanks, Chef. Yeah, you bet. All right, we're going to, how are we going to do this? You guys want to try this, try the dishes right here? Is that cool? We should probably plate two more up here. All right. Next time. Yeah, right? we can. We can. Cool, cool. We totally, man. Try these on the we'll stream. Take a couple, we'll try them right here. <laughs> yeah, we're we're anxious for the the last oh, one's right. been, Did we get so any? Happy. Are there any out there wandering around in the distance that we can reel back in? Let me go take a look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chef. Course three. Now this looks good here. Neat. It's gonna be great. So mm. this guy has a his Adam. Uh, has his uh, caring company too, and mm -hmm. that's why I bring gonna, these guys too, man. So we can. We're going to talk to all these guys. What do you say we talk to Mike Harper? And, yeah, uh, Harper that would be Feeders. great. Well, uh, you know what? Actually, we should save that for the main course. All right. When so we're when about to serve his... Course, uh, what do you think? Should we talk sake right now? Yes. Have you had any sake yet From tonight? From this company, yes. No, not tonight. There we go. All right. So you got any chopsticks? We don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? There we go. I'm ready. Gra grab your mic. Let's put that down. I'd like to, Jay, if possible, we need to get something with a roaming mic so that we can get over here real close to us. I don't know what's on the other, uh, I mean, roaming camera. All right, George, it's me and you. Greg, I don't know about you, but this is, looks spectacular. Look at how awesome Careful, we're gonna have, Where are you going to, how are you going to approach You're going to have fun there. I'm going to approach it by trying to get a little bit of trout. A little bit of mushroom and a little bit of arugula all at the same time. Are you going to? Okay. I'm digging right in like this. Watch this. Let's see. I think you did a good job. All right. We're trying this. You got the mushroom on there, too? I got mushroom on here, too. Kabang. That's amazing. That is crazy delicious. Mm -hmm. I think that's a home run right there. Like, all day long you can eat that. <laughs> that wasabi sauce is to die for. I just I was going to ask him how he Maybe we should ask him how he makes yeah. it. Yeah. We need a secret recipe on yeah. this one. Chef, we got to know. Chef, know. that sauce is amazing. Are we going to arm wrestle over that last piece there? Oh. What is in that sauce? That sauce is spectacular. It's tofu, green tea. And some in, uh, secret ingredients. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so you could tell ginger, me, but you'd have to kill ginger, me. Ginger, garlic. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, George. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. Yeah, that is spectacular. There How do you like that trout? That, that's the trout? Yes. Oh, the trout. It's clean. Can you say it's a trout right there? Can that's you say, oh, this is trout? No, right? It's no, so that, good. That's it's clean. really clean. Yes. Yeah. Boy, that's fantastic. That's yeah, delicious. That trout is spectacular. All right, I'm gonna go get the guy from Saki. You talk. Um, you eat that, and you talk, and I'll go get the guy with Saki. Grab the Saki guy. You gotta eat All one right, of those berries. All right, guys. Um, let's get start a with. Pit in there. How's that for delicious? Crazy juicy. What do you think? What do you think? We're definitely getting two plates on this next one.
Guys, that trout is so fresh and delicious. That's one of the best trout dishes I've ever had. Right? I, I was a little scared in the beginning with the trout because yeah. trout, right? Until you try it, it's like, wow, this is pretty cool. Yeah, I was going to choose between steak and trout. Tonight. I'm going to eat trout. I'm a heavy. Is that from Port Teddy, New York? Yeah. Do you have anybody else? Ah. Do you have any ones ready? Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they got ponzu. No ponzu yet. Yeah, we should put it on the bowl with ponzu. Like. If you said you didn't like it, you're lying. All right, we're continuing on, and I want to bring up William Stewart, Colorado Sake Company. Good to see you. Grab this microphone right here. I know you were mentioned. I think we addressed the audio problems. Let's see. How's the sound? No. Bring that one Hello? up. Hello? Yeah, there you go. Sound better? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you for joining us yeah, here tonight. Yeah, thanks for having me. First of all, tell the folks about Colorado Sake Company. Yeah, Colorado Sake Company. Yeah, thanks for everyone drinking, <laughs> being here. Uh, we are Colorado's only sake brewery. Been open almost two years. Um, cheers, everybody. We're one of ten in the nation, so super small, local sake. Enjoy it, okay? Have you guys tried any? Please, please try it. What did you bring tonight? So I brought two different sakes. The original uh, American Standard will be our traditional style sake. Uh, it is Nama, which means unpasteurized, June Mai, which means no added alcohol, and then we polish the rice to 60%. So it is a premium sake, uh, all brewed 20 blocks away over in Rhino. Um, tasting room, come down, support us, but cheers to everyone here. The other one is uh, blueberry hibiscus. So blueberries and hibiscus flowers, that's more of our Colorado style, uh, trying to innovate sake. What do you think of the menu? The menu's been great. Is there anything on there specifically you would say, you've got to order some sake with this course? Do this you have the menu? This next course is all sashimi. The American standard will pair really well with it. Um, it's great to have local uh, sushi-grade fish in Colorado. People say, Colorado sake, sushi-grade fish from Colorado, too. Yeah. This is really cool. What made you want to start 
sake in Colorado? Uh, been a home brewer, worked in Japanese restaurants for forever, and realized people like sake. They just don't know anything about it. And so it's all about the education and, and creating a, a, a local craft. And some people haven't tried sake in years. Yeah. I can tell you what, it's come a long ways, right? Yeah, sake is uh, finally in America. We grow sake rice, and it is great stuff. Um, yeah, come down. We have tours, uh, taste room. We can educate you all of the good stuff. If you have any questions tonight, please, please ask. Absolutely. How can people find you? Uh, ColoradoSakeCompany.com. Um, come visit us. Like I said, we're in uh, the Rhino Arts District, open seven days a week. Uh, tag them. Drinking the sake. Tag them. Yes. Summer dinner series. Done. Uh, these guys are great. Yeah. And thank you again. That's William Stewart. Yeah, yeah. Colorado Sake Cheers, Company. Everyone. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Yeah, thank All right, Patrick, come on up here. Our opening toast was provided by another great Colorado brand from Palisade, Colorado. Savage Spectrum and Patrick. Good to see you, Patrick. How are you guys doing tonight? Thank you so much for having me. Last time you were here, uh, last oh, week, man. you tried to... That was terrible. We'll try it again next time. <laughs> Not tonight. Tell us about the opening toast that you uh, provided. So the opening toast, you had your um, sparklet rosé. So that's a highly aromatic red grape. We're 100% a state-grown in uh, bottled Colorado winery. Wait, so, so say those, that again. Those are, those are our grapes. We grow our wines, It basically is what I'm trying to tell you. 100% a state-grown and bottled. And you had the sparklet rosé. Uh, really fine bubbles, nice mousse. Uh, candied strawberry aromatics with a little bit of bubble gum. Yeah, it was delicious. <laughs> yeah, did, did, did it's delicious. Like it? <laughs> I love it. And not only uh, Sauvage Spectrum, Sauvage uh, Winery or Vineyard, right? Correct. You guys su supply grapes to other Colorado wineries as well. Correct. Yeah, there's multiple um, different wineries that use uh, our partner Kaibab, his, his grapes. And he's been growing for over 20 years, and this is a new venture. And we're trying to, to put our own little spin on Colorado wine by really respecting the grapes from the vineyard and giving you a true taste of our high desert terroir. These dudes back here from Carboy are ready to pounce. I see them right there. Um, say something nice about Carboy. Let's bring these guys oh, up from Carboy. Bring, bring Come them on up, up Carboy. Yeah. So no, the, tell uh, who we're going to be talking to. So here. you're going to talk to Jason and Kevin. And uh, Tyzak's not here. He's the winemaker, and we've worked closely with him, and I love all these guys. And the Carbonic Mavedra on the, uh, on the list tonight, you better give it a try because it's unlike any other wine you've had before. Who knows what Carbonic Maceration is? It's a family affair in Colorado. <laughs> Introduce yourselves, you guys. Hey, who's excited about Colorado wine? <laughs> <laughs> Good way to start. I don't, I don't think this is... Uh, we'll talk into it. It's working. Who's excited about Colorado <laughs> wine? Ew. So, so my name's Kevin Weber. This is Jason Snobkowski, and we uh, are from Carboy Winery. Another Pollock, huh? Yeah. <laughs> A lot of Pollocks on stage. Yeah. <laughs> so we're very excited about Colorado wine as an industry, about what we're doing, what Patrick is doing, and Kaibab, and we're growing an industry here in Colorado, and it's if you get a chance to go out this fall and check out what's going on in the Grand Valley, that's great. If not, we have tasting rooms here in Denver and Littleton and Breckenridge, and we're changing the game here, guys. Who's so. tried Carboy? Who's tried Carboy wine? Oh, we need to change that. We need to change that. <laughs> you got what? three options in the building tonight, so you have no excuses after tonight. Try all three. Try all three. What did you guys bring? So we got a little bit of our 2019 Albarino. You can only get it in a couple of our tasting rooms right now. It's still, uh, still a new release for us, so that's on the docket. It's going to pair well with everything that Chef Jesusio is making tonight. Uh, we have a Carbonic Mouved, so it's, it's a uh, red wine, uh, but it has a little bit of a, it's kind of a hybrid, if you will. So check it out. It's weird. It's a little different. Have an open mind. And then we have our uh, Vin 59 Red Blend, so our, our flagship Red Blend. It's probably the least pairable with this cuisine, but uh, if you're a red wine drinker, drink what you like. You know, if you want to drink red wine with sushi, go for it, and that's your option. Fantastic. Uh, what else do you want to say? Uh, you guys have locations you can go to. You got Breckenridge, you got Littleton, you've got down here on Logan Street, attached to some great places. Angelo's also carries it as well. Um, just Carboy, just taking everything by storm here in Colorado. 
fastest growing winery in Colorado. Again, we're trying to elevate an industry here, so visit Littleton or Breckenridge or Denver. We have an amazing wine club, 20% off of all your wine. We're gonna take what you're gonna do already, which is drink amazing wine. We're gonna make it amazingly accessible for you, so stop by anytime. Support local, you guys. This is the best of the best. Colorado, Carboy Winery, go ahead. And if you're, if you're in Grand Junction in that area and you miss Savage Spectrum, you're doing the Grand Valley wrong. <laughs> Thank you. And Patrick, go ahead. Yeah. Thank you guys for pairing Colorado wine with Colorado food the way it should be. You know, We really appreciate that. And you're supporting small local businesses. So thank you guys. Have a great dinner. Thank you very much. Yeah, keep it local. Thank you, Patrick. Savage Spectrum and Carboy Winery. You bet. Hey, Chef. Did you get your uh, gift pack from Carboy? Right here. What'd you get? Oh, three bottles of delicious <laughs> Carboy wine. All right, Chef, what's up next? Course three. So, for next course, whew, we have some. Ooh. Ooh. We have some Croatian Otoro, tuna. Yellowtail belly, amaebi, and seared scallops. And you had to keep the head there, just for a good touch. Eat the head. From the back. And eat the Best head. Best part. Okay, fantastic. Enjoy course three right here. Yes. So you guys know. So shrimp go to the guests on this side, not on the other side. Are we good to run? Yes, sir. Vamanos. I don't need it. Thank you, guys. Woo! So... Go over there and clear these for you. Okay.
How's dinner? I wanted to eat that plate. Okay, okay, okay. How was that course right there? That was delicious, right? Come on, we got to give it up to these guys who are just killing it for you tonight. I mean, basically, if you do the math, I think there's like 45 people here. There's like one chef per five people, and it shows. This is good stuff tonight. Thank you for joining us for week three of Summer Dinner Series. I'll tell you what, we've got uh, five more of them to go. Next week, right here, center stage, will be Chef Dana Rodriguez. That'll be a good one. After that, Chef Brother Luck's going to join us as well. And then we'll have uh, the host, George Eater. He's a great Italian chef. I hope you can join us for that. We've got Justin Brunson, who will be here on the 25th of August. And then we'll uh, round this baby off with Chef Troy Gard on the 1st of September. So, uh, Chef Jesusio, are you there? Chef? Chef Silva? Yes, sir. Good to see you. All right, we've got a, another course that you're assembling here. What do you got going on? So we have some peaches from Colorado. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, macho sauce, which is roasted jalapenos, uh, micro cilantro, and yellowtail belly. Good yes. stuff. This How is, I think, one of my favorites. Oh, shishito peppers, too. I forget that shishito peppers. When you start making a menu and they say, okay, Chef, we want you to create a menu. What is it that you're looking for when you want to create a menu, a well-balanced menu? I, first, I want to put something in the plate that I want to eat. And I want to put something in the plate that I know my friends are going to like. So I probably serve for them before in other occasions. So, yeah, that's, uh, it's hard to balance it. And it's hard to play with them, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> you mind telling a little story? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set you up for something. All right. You guys, so COVID's been a very interesting time during the outbreak. It's like, all right, how do you triumph over tragedy? How do we find the, the silver lining to the things that are happening right now? First of all, this is very important because this is community. Do you guys feel very safe and comfortable at this outdoor dining? Good. That's very important to us because as we stream here on Facebook, we're not only showing Denver, we're not only showing Colorado, we're not only showing the United States, but we're showing the world how to do this and how to do this properly. So let's give a round of applause for us for doing this the way that it should be done. I think it's very important to talk about that triumph over tragedy because we're very lucky to have Jesus here with us. And you know, here's a guy from Monterey, or from Monterey, Mexico. He, you, you landed in Colorado with tragedy, and yes, <laughs> you are here right now, and you're triumphing. You have a beautiful family. You're a well-respected chef in our community, all-around great guy. But talk about landing in Colorado. So that was 2002, and uh, my older brother was a chef for uh, Wayne Cup in uh, Wayne Cup Street. So he was working for uh, John Hickenlooper, actually, in that time. And uh, he was uh, hit by a drunk driver, and I and then moving to Colorado and, and meeting all these beautiful people over here and all you guys. <laughs> yeah, and your wife. And my beautiful wife right there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that one. <laughs> oh, my God, man. You almost fumbled that ball. <laughs> now, Elena was actually a customer. Yes. That, I don't know if she got the eyes for you. Well, or... I remember. <laughs> that was like 25 pounds ago. <laughs> no, I remember she walked in uh, Sushi Sasa. I was working in Sushi Sasa. She walked at the door, and, and Elan and some other guys were there. And we were like, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Who's this? Who's yeah. This? And, uh, Did you uh, play it cool, though? Yeah, I'm always cool. And, uh, <laughs> You, you just ignored her. Uh, yeah. Yeah, who's the pretty she, girl? She's she, sitting, she sitting right next to us and, uh, in the sushi bar. And um, I was making food for some other friends, and... And uh, I was just looking at her because she's beautiful, as you ca everybody can see over there. And, uh, 
And then I ask her, like, hey, you want to make something special for you? And so she goes, give me your best shot. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? And I make some ankimo, and that's a monkfish liver. And I was really pissed, by the way, because she take like, 30 minutes to eat it because she was talking with everybody around. <laughs> and I was like, eat that, eat that thing. Like, <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, that's a uh, long time ago already. We have two beautiful kids and yeah, it's been a beautiful life. Two Thank kids later. Yeah. Tragedy with triumph. I mean, truly. And so great to have you here tonight. Thank you. A part of the Modern Eater family. And that's really what it's about. It's about community. It's about family. It's about us together. But more importantly, connecting with the food and connecting with the chefs and hearing the stories. That's the Modern Eater. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. Did you describe this already? Yeah. Let me, no, let me show you this. Oh, yeah, you already described this thing, right? I know you did, but now it's out and it's beautiful. <laughs> so, gelatel, some shishito peppers, some uh, peaches, and macho sauce. Okay, it's a pretty intimidating plate there. How do you approach that, chef? Just Slide right in. attack it. Go and eat it Just and go don't get worry it. about it. Use your chopsticks. Have fun. Everybody That's having fun. fun tonight? Yeah. All right, good. All right, cool. Eat. Enjoy. We'll bring the music back up. This staff, Pizza Republican staff, is so fantastic. All right, you guys, thank you for joining us. We'll talk to some more we folks more here. No when more. the main course comes out, we're going to talk to Mike Harper from Harper Feeder. And that's downtown. I nailed it. We have like one pinch left.
Had a short break on the next course.
side. Huh. It should have worked. They do. Yeah, I noticed that. And they're fine, right? When we did our road trip, we had some ceremonies, right? Uh-huh. One receiver to two. Sure, right? Terrible. They're SLXs. They're medium grade. This is hot. That's my crowd. Yeah. We're going to dump them all after. I would just say that they're picking something else for them around their wire machine. That, that's that's a good thing.
That kind just of uh, like waiting on Jesus to go. Jay. Not yet, but I, I have to come and say hi to this guy. Please, anytime. We're doing our, uh, a lot of the tortillas, uh, but some some of the tortillas the come chef. from uh, Rich right there, from Raquelitas. This guy's amazing, man. Best tortillas ever. All right, let me, let me go back there. Ready for next? Rich, so you're doing good? The, um... Thank you, brother. Let me, let me go do the Dude, lamp. You're killing this good. dinner. This I'm, dinner. Glad, I'm glad you like it. So ready, guys? Hey, Zucio. Yes, sir. So here's what we want to do: is um, when when the lamb starts coming out, uh -huh. we're going to talk to Mike Harper. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to talk to the spirits. Hey, Have you guys met? No, I don't think. I think. Um, Jeff Roll. Did you? Did we just become friends on Facebook or something? Seventy two dot twenty dot ten dot four. Um, 
Thanks, Jake. How's it going, man? You look like a real rock star with the sweatpants. No, I'm not wearing you. I'm not gonna. I like the hair on this one. That's awesome. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Week three continues of the summer dinner series. I can't hear you. Are you too much a food? Louder, a little louder. Come on, we're not even at the main course yet. How's the dinner? These chefs are working harder than that. How's the dinner? Now that is how the dinner is. I don't know, George. This is a great dinner so far. Yeah, this is a spectacular dinner. Just amazing. I've never seen such talent amassed in the kitchen. These guys are true professionals, and to watch them work is just humbling. You know, this is magic, what they're doing right now. I can't think of a better way to spend... Tuesday night. Can you guys think of a better way to spend a Tuesday night? No, you cannot. All right. Thank you for joining the Modern Eater for Summer Dinner Series Week 3. SummerDinnerSeries.com is where you can get tickets for up-and-coming dinners. In the meantime, we're celebrating this delicious dinner from uh, Chef Silva here with us tonight. He's just crushing it along with his team. Yeah, they, these guys are true pros, and to watch them work, you know, I'm learning some tricks right now. Elena, who's on, who's, who's on FaceTime right now? What's next after Lamont? Oh, hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> he looks like, he's like, yeah, I wish I could taste that food. Yeah, you're missing the main course. Chef Silver, are you there? Yes. Yes, yes. You like spirits? I love spirits. Shots. Ever Everybody. heard of Idle Wild Spirits? Who's been to uh, Winter Park, Colorado? Anybody been? Really? Okay. Not many. Man, I love Winter Park. Uh, so if you haven't been to Winter, so or Winter Park, the, then you the probably ice. haven't been to Idlewild. But Idlewild Spirits, come on up here. Jeff Rule, Idlewild Spirits. Uh, you brought some cocktails. First of all, say hello. Hello, everyone. Jeff from Idlewild Spirits. Jeff, tell us about Idlewild Spirits real quick. Thank uh, you, we brother. are a small craft distillery up in Winter Park, Colorado. We have been self-distributed in pretty much exclusively the oh, Grand awesome. County and Denver areas. Uh, hey, since we started distributing, yes, do and like we just signed on with a distributor uh, about sauce. two weeks ago, so look forward to seeing us in more places uh, all over the state. I'm a big like, fan of uh, Idlewild Wild Spirits, yes. and hopefully you are too. Uh, tonight you brought some cocktails. You, what did you bring tonight? Uh, we brought a couple things that we, we thought would go along really well with the seafood. <laughs> uh, we brought <laughs> a basil greyhound, which is uh, the primary flavors in there are your basil. Uh, your grapefruit, and then we also brought a hot watermelon, which is a little bit of a twist, a little bit more of a palate cleanser. Uh, those that have had it tonight might have noticed it's a little bit spicy, hence the hot watermelon. And then we've got watermelon, cucumber, uh, vodka, and a couple other things in there. Can I have a witness? <laughs> Has anybody had one? Can I get a witness? <laughs> yeah, that's all good stuff, and uh, you can go up and enjoy Idle Wild Spirits in Winter Park, Colorado. Absolutely. We are a full-blown wow. story pub, so we've got a full-blown restaurant, cocktail bar. Uh, we make 13 different types of spirits on a routine basis, and then experimental stuff. Uh, yeah, so it's a great deal. You should come up and visit. It's always good to have you a part of Summer Dinner Series. Uh, you, you probably couldn't have picked a better night. The menu you're enjoying? For someone who grew up on the coast, I didn't even know what I was getting into, but Nadine told us you guys were interested, and I've been on the boat enough times to know when you guys say jump, I get on that boat. Right? Rock and roll. That's what I like. Jeff Rule, Idle Wild Spirits. Thank, Thank you, guys. brother. Thank you so much. Uh, hand that back to what? Uh, actually, to the next gentleman right here. This, you guys are in for a treat. Can you uh, just look at these televisions right here for a second? You recognize this spot right here, Mike Harper? Oh, there we are. I'm back at work. <laughs> You're back at work. Chef, join us for this conversation. We're plating the main course. First of all, tell us about your main course. So we have some purple potatoes um, from Colorado, too. Uh, they have some uh, honey and a couple other things on it. And then a now beautiful those purple potatoes. We have to tell you, not far from where you're at in Eaton, we went to LaSalle, Colorado, and Strohauer Farms, and we dug these up. I wish Brian Freeman was here with us tonight. He's the man who pulled these out of the ground just a couple of days ago. Very Strohauer. He's True a good story. Neighbor. Yes, absolutely. A neighbor of yours, right? Well, yeah. Northern yeah. Colorado. He's so we pulled those potatoes of out of the ground, fresh as it can possibly be. Right. Continue on with that. Uh, 
main course. And, and we pulled the, the lamb chops right out of the lamb the same way. True. Uh, that's one of those right there? Like, that's it. That. That's it. <laughs> Do you remember the one that winked at Greg? Right. I think it's <laughs> oh, I know coming which one up pretty it is. quick. <laughs> yep. Susio thought, he was, thought she was looking at him, but I, right, think, it well, I actually, think it was Greg. I think it was Greg. <laughs> it's good stuff. It's Tell us about hard for feeders, Mike. Well, we've been in the feeding business since the, uh, I guess, 1977, 78. We started our feed yard in northern Colorado. I was telling George that Colorado lamb is, is a big item, and... Weld County, Colorado is the number one sheep feeding spot in the nation. I There's one of those right more now. sheep fed in, in Weld County, Colorado than any place in the United States. And we're pretty proud of that. Uh, and we are very, very proud that he's from Colorado, too, man. This is it's amazing, got a, it's got a amazing good name. Lamb. We were talking a little bit about flavor profile, and I think hopefully everybody gets to enjoy this tonight. And fed lamb is a lot like good fed beef to me. Not everybody is a big fed meat fan but i think you're going to appreciate the mild flavor that it, flavor profile that this provides to everybody tonight i hope everybody enjoys it it's good so this is the best of the best as i'm watching them it looks beautiful plate this right now they, i mean this is how you want your lamb to be presented to it's folks gorgeous right? absolutely well, how did, what inspired the way you're putting this dish together Again, it's a beautiful piece of uh, meat. Just we have to respect it and make it look beautiful and taste great. So that's that's why. Did you put a rub on it? Salt and pepper? What you uh, do? We it? do uh, koji. It's, uh, it's um, um, something that comes from the sake or uh, for the fermentation. At, uh, it's hard to explain, but yeah, and some salt pepper. You don't want to. You don't want to take a lot out of this delicious flavor. This the lamb already have let's speak for so, itself yes i can't wait for the guests to try this this looks like a great plate this is the main course george you're seeing it completed right now i'm i'm ready to eat I mean, this is this looks amazing <laughs> spectacular looking dish great lamb from colorado yep. i didn't know we had that large lamb population Sixty-five thousand, you said. That's that's what we would feed at one time, potentially up to sixty-five thousand. That's a lot so, of lamb. A lot of that's a that's a lot of lamb chops. That's a lot of lamb chops for sure. <laughs> that's my favorite. We were talking about I do a lamb shank dish in the winter. Oh, I love oh. lamb shanks. And that was the the conversation when when uh, Chef Jesusio came up. And we were just talking about all the different cuts and the potential, and that's what got me excited because a lot of ta- a lot of people know what rack of lamb is, but there are so many other good cuts on a lamb that are cooked right or awesome, and, and he picked up on that right away, all the potential. It's, it's yeah. fun. It's exciting. We're glad to be here. Great food is great food. Glad to be Here's here. the good news. You're going to be able to get Harper Feeder Lamb direct yourself here coming up Very in the soon. next month or so. You got yourself your own processing. Well, that's a big deal. Talk about that real quick. Yeah, we, we've got a couple of partners, uh, one from the Western Slope of Colorado and the Rule family from... Uh, out at Brush, and we're uh, going to be opening up a processing facility out there. It's in the final stages. Had a meeting with the contractor today, but I'm thinking that sometime about the first week of September, we'll be hanging up the first the first lambs and hopefully take that next step and, and uh, eventually be breaking down cuts and be able to sell you guys cuts. This is coming to your dinner table. I, I don't think you guys really know how lucky you are about to be. The rancher's here telling you about his lamb. You got the chef talking with the rancher. These guys plating it for you. This is a treat, you guys. We hope you enjoy the main course. Who's ready for this main course? I am. Yes. Oh, you got to do better than that. Main course. Who's ready? Hey! <laughs> Thank you, Mike Harper, Harper Feeders. Thank you. Thank uh, you, guys. Chef. This is great. Thank you. Bang up job. And we're going to talk to some of these chefs that are working hard with you tonight in the next couple of courses. Uh, This is what it's really all about. This is my favorite time of night, chef. Right. The sun's setting. It's nice and cool. It's midsummer. You don't get any better than this. Amazing food. This is awesome. Yes. Beautiful people. So, yes. Ah. Thank you. Enjoy. Those cook down beautiful. Thank you. That was Jeff, actually, the one who cooked them right there. Fantastic. <laughs> Bring that music up, oh, DJ. Oh yeah, I, you you have two pescatarians, right? Oh yeah. Let's pull. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. All right, guys. Yeah, go enjoy. We saved it. We got it.
John. John. We barely put it there. Doug. I, I tell Claudio, make sure don't yeah, don't go crazy. Right. Rory Popu. Lamb toast. Mine a little more cooked. You want more cook? Uh, I like mine. I, I mean, I get closer to the end there. Well, you have a grill over there, bro. Delicious. Thank you, Wenzel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a dolly across the audience, and then we'll do a spin when we get to the other end. How's that? I'm sorry, Dave. I've been calling you Jim all night. <laughs>
Yep. 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 I just want to find, oop, bring me down, bring, bring me down, thank you. Where's George? Where is George? I want a proof of that 10 miles, 7 miles. I want proof of 7 miles, 8 miles, 10 miles. Where's your little Fitbit thingy? It's got to be on your phone, isn't it? I do. I mean, no reason not to. It's just a lot. Of, I mean, here in a confined space, it just seems like a lot of walking. Like, if you're like, okay, Greg, like, I woke up and I jogged this morning. I took a walk around the park with the dog, and then uh, I went to rest. Like, 10 miles a lot. Right? I set a record for, like, no steps. Zero steps. That you have 10 miles? Okay. Sure. I mean, I'd probably just buy a shot anyway. But yeah. What about him? Oh, he is? Okay. What's up, guys? You wanna do some? You wanna get some? Okay, how was the uh, main course? Was the main course any good to your liking? That lamb was delicious. Thank you, Mike Harper. Harper feeders and the lamb. These chefs working hard for you. Chef Silva, how you holding up over there? That's fantastic. Okay, as we continue on, here is the very, um, we, we, so beer, right? I mean, it's one of my, one of my favorite brewing companies. Is your mic working? Is it working? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Check, 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 check. There you go. Chad Brown. Jack, am I here? All Jagged right. Mountain. Okay. For those that don't know, I, I think everybody here knows Jagged Mountain, but yep. just tell them about the brewery. All right, so Jagged Mountain Craft Brewery is located uh, right downtown here, 20th of Lawrence, so right next to Ophelia's, it's a good landmark, most people oh, here probably know where right Ophelia's is. Uh, we are coming up on seven years in November uh, as a craft brewery in Denver, which is a, a big milestone, because it's a hard business. Congratulations. <laughs> to make it in, as the restaurant world is too, so, you know, uh, that's that's a big milestone. But, uh, but yeah, we, we brew a little bit of everything. Um, 
we like to label ourselves as uh, adventurous beer for adventurous people. And that's kind of what we aim towards. We brew some very traditional styles, and we also brew things that are very off the wall. What did you bring tonight? So tonight, I brought a Blackberry Saison, uh, which generally a Saison, typically a little earthy, a little spicy, a little floral. Pairs very well with most yeah, fish in general. Uh, so brought that today. Uh, we use Blackberry Puree in it, so it's got a touch of sweetness on the back end. And then I brought a red lager. So it's actually a red cream ale that we've lagered for three, three, uh, sorry, 30 days. And uh, it uses a really cool uh, Pilsner malt that's actually steamed yeah, uh, to produce this really cool red color. And it's really fun. It gives it like this real cool biscuit character. So really fun. Tap really room up and running? Tap room's up and running. We're open, you know, limited capacity, but we're, uh, we're open to serving beer. I love that hat. Thank you. Appreciate I, it. I need yeah, one. Yeah, you need one of these. Yeah. That's good stuff. <laughs> Tell them where the brewery is. Uh, 20th of Lawrence. Uh, so we're not too far away from here, about eight blocks or so, 10 blocks or so. Yeah, uh, I know, right? <laughs> uh, 20th of Lawrence, uh, right next to Ophelia. Super easy to find. You are, you've become an institution. It's seven years. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. Yeah. Jack and Mountain here with us tonight. Let's hear it for Chad Bratt and Jack and Mountain. Thank you. Thank you, brother. You want to meet some of these chefs? I would love to. All right, hold, hold on to that microphone for a second. Uh, Chef Silver, are you there? Yes. Let's yes. talk about some of these How gentlemen that are here with you, you tonight. You. You've so, got a rock start. We've got a microphone for each one of them. So let's call them over one let's at a time. Start with, uh, you guys want Rich. to meet these chefs? That Yes. Ow. All right, who's first? Rich Hammond. Rich, step on up here, chef. All right, say your name, brother. My name is Richard Hammonds. Woo! Yeah. 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 Five star to go. Five star to you. Five star to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Talk right into that mic. (laughs) So I have a personal chef service called Five Star to You. Um, Like I was saying earlier, we do everything from an intimate dinner for two to weddings for over a hundred. I've had a long, uh, long history with the Four Seasons through my career. Um, Helped open the Denver Four Seasons. Helped open Linger Restaurant. So you're just getting going. Yeah, just getting going. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, 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 I lived in Jackson Hole before here. Went back to Jackson Hole. Worked my way up to executive chef. Yeah, Jackson Hole. Yeah. And as many other executive chefs know, sometimes you get a little burned the hell out. Started this company just so I could cook for the love again. So um, did a little work with uh, Jesus in my off season, doing some sushi. It was super fun times. And uh, now I'm here with him helping out, having a great time. What do you think of this summer dinner series? Man, this is awesome. I I, I can't wait to see what uh, some of the other guys are going to put out. You know Justin Brunson? Amazing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And you can't see Justin Brunson cook anywhere right now, right? Right. Summer dinner series, you can. Right. No longer old major. It's the fifth string, and that's Amos Watts' new spot. Yep. And Justin Brunson will be here on the 25th. And we'll get to watch Justin cook. He, he now, I said, hey, yeah, exactly. Actually, <laughs> Justin Brunson's going to be here. I said, uh, Chef, you can come. He said, call me Butcher. He's the, but- <laughs> he's the Butcher now in River Bear American Meat. So, Which is look, amazing. Uh, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Chef Richard Hammond. Thank you. Thank you, let's, brother. All right. Let's Keep follow Mr. To- Elon Wenzel. Elon. Hi, everybody. What's your name? Elon Wenzel. Yes, it is. <laughs> I own uh, Element Knife Company. Woo! Uh, I'm also a sushi chef of 20 years, and I was fortunate enough to work with Jesus another life ago at Sasa, so that was amazing. It's a reunite. Reunite, yeah. It's my... Getting together. You know, I, I just my love older being brother. here, helping my, my peers in the industry. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a part of the Modern Eater family for a while now. Yes, sir. 2006. 18, 17? Well, hey, we'll go farther back if you want to, but sounds good to me. Yeah. Uh, Chef Elin Wenzel here with us tonight. Yeah. All right. Well, we're just getting started here. We got we have Adam Barrow. Adam, come Adam here. Adam Barrow. That's me. It, it, it just doesn't stop. It just keeps going. Hi, I'm Adam Barrow. Um, Hi, Adam. How's it going? How are you, Chef? I'm doing great. Having a great time tonight hanging out with these guys. <laughs> it's a perfect time of night, isn't it? Yeah, it's been really nice. A little community, the delicious yeah. food, yeah, local. Sake. We have sake back here. I yes. don't know you guys. But, <laughs> what um, more could you want? Okay. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long um, have you been so in the business? I've been in the business for about 10 years. I've run a couple of restaurants here in Denver, uh, Garden Grace. Um, I was most recently the chef at Hearth and Dram. Um, right now, I'm trying to uh, bring some fine dining, fun food to your house. If anyone's interested in having a little party at your house, we are the people that would love to come and cook for you. So, 
This is, I mean, really trending for the future. It's guys like this. It's amazing that, Jeff, that you can bring these folks to your house. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, we really want to take the hospitality and the fun and great times you guys have at a restaurant and show up at your house and do it for you and then leave. So How about get some beer? Bring and, the beer. Yeah, get some, some beer. beer, yeah. So bring the beer with you <laughs> and, as well. And Adam has his best friend working with him all the time. Yeah, which all the time. Is Jeff right work. here. It's we not just work. Together. We're like this a married couple. We do everything together except have sex. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's next. <laughs> this is Jeff Nickman. We're fairly sure we're not going to cross that bridge. <laughs> You're not. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how things go. <laughs> times, times are weird in Corona. So. That's right. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad nobody was listening. <laughs> um, yeah, very happy to be here. Thank always, you. Always fun doing stuff with you guys. Always a riot. It's good to uh, work with awesome people in the community and meet, meet new friends and... Uh, do very Denver, Colorado things and uh, just support each other. Wave hi to people on the stream. Hi. Hello. Tell me your name again. Uh, Jeff Hickman. What are you doing with yourself, Jeff? Uh, not a lot. Mostly just getting fat in quarantine. <laughs> um, <laughs> enjoying some time off that we don't uh, we don't often get. Yes. So that's really nice. Um, Jeff and I took a little road trip recently. So we, we got back to Denver in time. to We remembered we said, told Jesus we'd help him. So here we are. <laughs> Great job on the lamb, man. Thank you so hey, the, much. The lamb, yeah. it's the lamb did itself. Like we, we, just, we just cooked it. That, that lamb is stellar. Best thing. Uh, is thing. that it? Well, up. I have Claudio over here. Want to come and talk with us? Uh, I, I think he has to. I yeah. know. You have to. You point. have to, brother. Come say come hi. On, we have to encourage him. Come on, Claudio. <laughs> <laughs> You can say whatever inappropriate stuff. Yeah, you, you can say anything yeah. you want, man. No, don't worry. Say whatever you want. Claudio Hernandez. My name is Claudio Hernandez. I'm working for the B Market right now with Jesus. So I got a long, long time working in the kitchen, and I enjoy it. So that's it. I want to say. He does. Yeah, he got this. It's fantastic. You guys brought a great lineup tonight here at uh, Pizza Republica. You guys are going to get an opportunity to show your appreciation. We thought it was important this year to leave out the gratuity from the ticket. You'll get an opportunity at the end of the dinner. You've already paid for your dinner, but please show your appreciation for this great staff with some tips tonight. It's much appreciated, but you don't have to stop at that 15 or 20 percent. Go ahead and raise it up to whatever you want to because it'll really come in handy. That means a lot right now. It absolutely folks. does, yes. This industry is devastated, and for you guys to come out tonight and join us and contribute in any fashion is so appreciated. So thank you so much for that. Yeah, thank you, guys. All right, we, we have one more. Yeah, what do we got? Actually, we have two more courses. <laughs> uh, this is just a little roll. Um, it's, uh, yeah, we have salmon, gelatin, and tuna with some chives, carrots, and uh, magic sauce. sauce. <laughs> and after that, I have some uh, mochi. So thank you guys for being here tonight. This has been awesome for us. Thank you, all these great chefs right here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank and the you staff here at Pizza Republica. Dave Avery, who's been working hard. The audio tonight, it's tough. There's a lot of buildings out here, you guys, and things are bouncing around, and it's an interesting thing to try and pull off these types of productions. But I'll tell you what, with Dave Avery and Jay Parker, just, I mean, this is stressful for these guys. I'll tell you what. But to hear your support for these guys working hard for you tonight means the world. So can we hear for Dave and, and uh, Jay? Fantastic. All right, enjoy this course. We'll be back, and we'll wrap it up with uh, mochi, right? Mochi ice cream, yeah. It's my favorite dessert. We'll talk about mochi when we get back right here. Thank you so much, Thank Jeff. you. Absolutely, thank you. All right, rock on. This Maybe is Summer Dinner Series yeah, 2020. Yeah, this morning. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs>
might as well. God.
we ever get any footage of you in the back of that pickup? At the no, no, no. <laughs> Thank you guys for the invite. Would I have seen would I have seen or met her at one of your other events? No, not yet. Like it took us three years. Can you get her in touch with me, let me know. Because of what we're doing, the company that I've been getting most of my money they've been playing a little hardball. Right
footage of our yard again that the footage you did the other day? Yeah, I didn't get to see it all. Hey, Mr. Harper. Mr. Harper. Zach I mean, wow. Can I hear a wow, a wow, and a wow? Chef, let me, let me fix that mic real quick. All right, can we hear you? Yes, we're going to take your uh, dessert. Your, or so. your table yeah, we take it. Yeah. All right, Get to finish. Chef's coming out the table plate. How, what a treat this is. This is fantastic. <laughs> so, uh... I don't know. Can anybody say that this is one of the best dinners they've ever had? I mean, can... Get it much oh, used to man, clean your that many people. Six, That's a true seven. compliment here. And everything, I think, you can tell the professionalism tonight. It just worked like clockwork. Chef, can we still hear you? Where are this you? Is this morning? The field. I'm just kidding. I'm, not. <laughs> I'm just wondering if we can... Peek in Sorry, and hear brother. you saying something you're not supposed to be saying. <laughs> I was about to, but... 
No, Truly really. a great dinner tonight, Chef. Thank and, you, brother. Uh, I need to thank you personally because the times that you've come spent with us and we became fast friends and I talked to you about local and, and trust me, local is everywhere. Right? right. Local is everywhere you are. But supporting our community and being here together tonight, I think it meant a lot. Right. Uh, means a lot to me. Like I say, open my eyes in a different direction is great, too. Okay, so... Pizza Republica hosted us tonight. It's a, where is he? There he is, George, there you are. Good to see you. Can we hear it for Pizza Republica and his staff here tonight? Guys, thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to me, my staff, to have these great chefs come in, put on these incredible dinners, to have such a great friend as Greg Holland back in The Modern Eater. It brings a little sense of normalcy. We live to serve you guys. Right. It makes us feel good. To not be able to do this on a regular basis just kills us. So I want to thank you for coming, and I want to thank my wonderful staff for their professionalism, dedication. They're there for us every day. And big shout out to them, because my staff, it's so hard in the restaurant business right now. That brought you be up. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. I would, I would love for everybody to just recognize the chef here tonight. Can we, I know you're eating, come on. Can we have it here for the chefs tonight? The chefs killed it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bring it up. This is what it's about. That means a lot. That means a lot. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. There's a few of you that have reached out that want to come to dinners in the future here. You're be our guests anytime. It's a pleasure to have you here for your chefs, for everybody involved. Chefs taking the time out. That means a lot for you to take time away from Broadway Market. Right. And your businesses. Tell us about your businesses at Broadway Market. Well, we have a couple places there. <laughs> we have Misaki on Broadway, Taco Bell Chili, uh, Purgatory Pizza. Uh, we have Tora Ramen and Republic of Chicken. What I forget? So many. But anyway, they're all good. You guys are gonna love all all of them and I'm there all the time, so come to see me. Please do that. <laughs> yeah. Support these guys. Here to everybody, thank you so much for coming out here tonight. Drive safe, you're part of the family. We love you so much. Thank you for being a part of this dinner tonight. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, brother. Thank you.